Okay, Bismillah. Now, in this video, I'm going to be talking about the noun and the definition. The definition is divided into two parts, and we'll understand why both parts are mentioned in the definition. So, it says a noun is a word that indicates a meaning in the word itself. So, what does that mean? Let's have a look at some examples. So, if we said Zaydun. So this is the name of a person. And when we say Zaydun, we mean Zaid. So the name indicates its meaning. And the and the meaning is inside the word. So that's what the definition means. And the reason why we define a word in this way is to distinguish it from the harf. And we'll understand that in a bit more details when we get to the harf or the particle. So another example of a noun is say al um, al Hindu. This means the country India. So when we say al Hind or India, we mean the country. Again, once again, the its meaning is inside the word. Another example of this is the pronoun huwa. Which means either he or it, depending on the context. And that also is a word that indicates a meaning inside the word. Now, the second part of the definition is and is not connected to time. So... This second definition actually is used to differentiate it from the verb because the verb is connected to time. The ism is not connected to time. So if we said Zaydun or Al Hind or Hua, it doesn't indicate any time frame past, present, future. And this is the characteristic of the, the ism or the noun. In the next video, I'll be going through the definition of a verb.